First of all, I don't need a bigger sign, I swear. Somebody make it look like it's water there, please. Whew. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Papa Gus. I'm Anne Marie. Hi, Anne Marie. Anne Marie, Mawa from both Falmouth Town. That food is better worth it. So, Anne Marie. We want to serve at Papa Gus. I said the food good, but nobody didn't tell me exactly what, what food you have. We have stew peas. Stew peas? Stew peas with chicken. Mm. We have fried chicken. With chicken? Um. From chicken to the brown stew fish. Brown stew fish. Curry goat and fried chicken. Curry goat and fried chicken. We have vegetable soup, vegetable yam banana soup. dumplings, and breadfruit, and bread rice food. and peas also. You can hold the breadfruit. You can boil breadfruit. You can roast and fry, roast and fry. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, Papa Gus! Nah, no, 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 Greetings. Oh, well, well, half a mile forget some other food there, you know. Uh, uh, so, I hope it works. Every time, man. All right. All right, well, let's see. I'm going to want a little, a, a little of that vegetable soup there just for you, yeah, man. No, settle no, my no, stomach. Yeah. Fried. Right. Oh, beg you some fried chicken, leg and thigh, yeah. and just pour a little curry gravy over it for me. Yeah. <laughs> You're sure you're going to meet a vegetable get a lot of thickness, yeah? Oh, no. Tell you what. No, just give me the curry gravy, put a little of the curry in it, you understand? Mm -hmm. Put a little of the curry in it and, and sort out a brown stew fish, you know? What make people talk about the food, so? It tastes good and it cook with love. It tastes good. <laughs> I mean, love, love is the ingredient in there? Yes. You might have one little... No, I need to see that, that, that buckle there, where you have the love in there. Try some busy shot first of all. Let me see no more. I know. Curry go to shot. Yeah man. Of course. Them people up on the cooking channel no more than me. I've cleaned my palate. <laughs> Papa goes to take me back to town without knowing exactly when putting another fish sauce here. We have another thing coming. Mm. You're right, my brother. Compliments to the chef. Time, every time. But you're going like the food, mm. I bite you. Mm. When you mm. supposed to mm. bite, bite the, the food. food eh? Sweet, my man. Every time. The highest compliment I can ever pay a chef is that I feel like my damn yard. When we are eat, I'm a feel like not just my yard, but I'm a great grandmother yard. Cause my mother good, you know, but I'm a great grandmother, the real boss when it comes to cooking. So, feel like I'm a great grandmother yard. But what led to the, the formation of yes. Papa Gus? I um, passed down here one day. Mm -hmm. I saw the swampy land, and I tell myself that I'm going to put a little business on it. You know, that's bold, you know. That's bold. I mean, you walk past that, that's, that's a swamp. Everybody see and think probably, oh, it's swamp, and you see it and see business. And uh, the MP at that time was Desmond Wilkie. I don't know if you ever hear about Desmond yeah, Wilkie. You were the MP at that time. You know, so I asked him if I could get it. And he said, yes, Papa goes, take what you can manage. <laughs> because that is swamp. Down there is swamp, so take what take you can, what you can manage. manage. Yes, and I did. That 18 years uh, later. Uh, you have a place. Yeah. I like how Papa go saw a swamp. And when he see a swamp, he see a business. And 18 years later, he has a thriving restaurant that's worth detouring off the path to come. Now, when you're in the Falmouth area, ask anybody, how I find Papa Gus? And when I direct you to Papa Gus, you can't miss it. Come, have some food here. You'll be glad you did. Trust me. Alright? Eat around Jamaica. 
I'm glad I got this assignment. <laughs>